When it comes to the topic of lawnmowers, most devices rely on a boundary wire for orientation and are mainly designed for small to medium sized areas with typical terrain. However, the new Luba AWD 5000, recently introduced by Mammotion, is different. This high-end lawnmower is capable of managing extremely large areas, climbing steep inclines, and doesn't require a boundary wire. In today's video, we'll take a closer look at what else this intelligent lawnmower from Mammotion has to offer and how it performs in testing. So let's get started, but if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to this channel for free and activate the bell to not miss any future testing videos. The current prices are as usual listed in the video description below. Thank you for your attention and let's get started after the intro. For those who are looking for a very special type of lawnmower that can manage large areas without the need for a boundary wire, I may just have the thing for you in today's test. It's the new high-end lawnmower from Mammotion, the Luba AWD 5000. All-wheel drive, inclines up to a staggering of 75%, and areas up to 5,000 square meters are just a few of the highlights of this new lawnmower. Truly a device of superlatives, at least in theory. Whether it will keep the promises in practice and how well it actually performs, we'll explore in detail in today's video. Starting with the contents of the package, the product box for the Luba looks relatively unremarkable from the outside, with a few large images of the lawnmower and its corresponding designation. From the box, we get the quick start guide, the bumper of the lawnmower, the small accessories such as the antenna, safety key, ground spike, and RTK base station, and its poles. Next, we find the actual gem, the Luba AWD 5000, safely stored around more small accessories in separate boxes. Lastly, the product box includes a charging station for the lawnmower and ground screws for anchoring it to the ground. That's it, but, of course, additional accessories such as a garage to protect the lawnmower can be purchased separately. Otherwise, everything needed to operate the lawnmower is included in the package, but first, we need to install the Luba. Particularly important is the position of the RTK base station, as it must not be shielded and should be able to receive signals from as many satellites as possible. Essentially, there are two possible options. Option number one is to place the charging station with the RTK base station as far away as possible from large buildings and tall trees. As a rule of thumb, the height of the object should be used as the distance. Alternatively, option number two, which is actually recommended by the manufacturer, is to mount the RTK base station at a high position, such as the gable of the building. For this purpose, there is an optional mounting device with dowels and screws, which allows the base station to be mounted directly. After we've done the preliminary work regarding positioning, we can now mount the charging station. To do this, we plug in the cable of the RTK base station and the power supply into the designated ports on the back of the charging station. Next, we screw the two antenna poles together, mount the ground spike, and secure the charging station on the ground using it and the five earth screws. At this point, don't forget to place the small round cover on the recess before mounting the ground spike. Otherwise, like in my case, you'll have to remove it again. Next, we mount the RTK antenna on the pole, secure the cable with clips, and connect the power supply to the charging station. If the LED on the charging station now lights up constantly green, the system is running smoothly. So far, so good for the hardware installation. That's all we have to do. Now we move on to the Luba software. For this, it's first necessary to download the free Mammotion app for Android or iOS and create a user account. This only takes a few minutes and is necessary so that we can activate the lawnmower. In the meantime, we insert the orange safety key on the back of the lawnmower and mount the bumper on the front of the Luba. Then we can carefully slide the Luba backwards into the charging station so that it's fully charged later, and back to the app. In the middle of the screen, we find a large plus sign, which we can use to add the lawnmower to our user account. To do this, we press the start button on the lawnmower for 5 seconds, activate Bluetooth and GPS on the mobile device, and search for the Luba lawnmower in the app. After connecting the device, it's necessary to give the lawnmower access to our WLAN network. Alternatively, it's also possible to create a hotspot with the smartphone and connect to it. 
In my test, the entire procedure worked smoothly so that the lawnmower was assigned to my user account within a few seconds. Then the Luber performs a short self-check to see if all the components are working properly and after successful testing, it directs us to the home screen. Once there, it's necessary to update the lawnmower to the latest version, i.e. to download the corresponding update, let it automatically install, and then it's done. After that, the lawnmower is up to date and ready to get to know the area. The special thing about the Luba, as already mentioned, is that we no longer need a boundary wire. This means that the annoying task of laying the cable is eliminated, but we still have to somehow show the lawnmower where to mow and where not to. This is done by simply driving the desired borders with the device. On the smartphone display, there are now two virtual joysticks, which we can use to manually navigate the lawnmower. That means forward, backward, left, right. All movements are executed directly by the lawnmower robot. In practice, this admittedly works very well because the Luba reacts with extreme sensitivity to movements and so it can be controlled extremely precisely. Nevertheless, I would personally recommend that if you've never done anything like this before, it's best to just play around with the device beforehand. This means driving the lawnmower robot along the lawn like a remote control car to become familiar with the controls. After that, it's no longer a problem to guide the lawnmower precisely along the borders of our lawn area. Once we've completely surrounded the area and returned to the starting position, a message automatically appears in the app asking if the area should be saved. After that, it's possible to create additional areas as well as corridors, which are connections between multiple zones and no-go areas using the same principle. If you don't like the result, you can simply delete the area and remap it. Depending on the size of the area and the number of obstacles present, the entire process can last between 30 minutes up to 2 hours. Compared to a conventional lawnmower that relies on a boundary wire, the installation of the Luba is much easier and faster. In this regard, you can pat yourself on the back, as the lawnmower robot is now fully installed and ready for its first mowing operation. Therefore, I suggest we now take a closer look at the Luba and its numerous features, starting with the exterior. The device from Ammotion is very well made and has an extremely robust chassis, but it's definitely anything than ordinary. At first glance, I would think of a Formula One car rather than a lawnmower designed to trim the lawn in the garden. It's not just for fun that you can also purchase racing stickers to make the Luba a real eye-catcher. In addition, the device is not only noticeable due to its considerable size, but also very heavy at 23.4 kilograms. Admittedly, this potentially slightly negative aspect quickly disappears once you take a look at the maximum area that the lawnmower robot can cover. Because the Luba AWD 5000 is designed for a whopping 5,000 square meters, as the name already suggests. This model from Mammotion is therefore aimed at really large gardens. In order for the lawnmower robot to be able to move safely and effectively despite its high weight, it not only has four wheels, but these are also rubberized, have a distinctive profile, the front wheels have a movable axle suspension, and all wheels are individually driven. In plain language, this means that the lawnmower robot has all-wheel drive. Accordingly, I could not find any instances of the lawnmower robot getting stuck during practical tests on different surfaces. In addition, another special feature of the Luba, which I unfortunately could not test because I live in a completely flat area, is that due to its all-wheel drive, the lawnmower is able to handle slopes of up to a staggering 75%, where all other lawnmower robots have long given up. That also means that the Luba can easily mow even on very steep slopes where a conventional lawnmower would only make slow progress. Speaking of mowing, the Mammotion robotic mower has a trick up its sleeve here as well. Starting on the bottom of the robotic mower, there are not just one, but two blade discs, each with four blades. Therefore, the device has an impressive cutting width of 400 millimeters, allowing the robotic mower to easily keep up with a large manual lawnmower. By the way, the cutting depth on this device can be electronically adjusted from 30 to 70 millimeters using the app. Now, let's get on to the most important part, the mowing result. As already mentioned, what sets the Luba apart is that it does not rely on a boundary wire, but determines its position via GNSS and receives correction data from the RTK base station, allowing for a positioning accuracy of an incredible 2 centimeters. From my practical experience, the result looks very good as the robotic mower continuously maintains parallel lanes while ensuring a precise cut.
Due to the highly accurate positioning, there's no need to worry about the mower missing spots, as is common with random principal devices. Another point we need to look at is the handling and operation of the robotic mower. As the Luba only has the most essential controls on the top, such as the stop button, a home button, a start button, and the on-off switch, all other settings must be made via the app. In my opinion, the app is well done, but it takes some time to get used to it first. However, once you get the hang of it, the user has unlimited possibilities, such as creating new mowing zones, creating corridors between them, including no-go areas, and controlling everything either manually or via a schedule. I personally think it's super practical that Memotion has given the Luba many options, especially the multi-zone management, which works perfectly. By the way, once we select the desired area in the app, it automatically shows us the size of the area, how long the robotic mower will take, and the current progress. If the robotic mower encounters obstacles during operation that are not set up as no-go zones, it also has four ultrasonic sensors to avoid collisions. This works quite reliably in the test, but if the ultrasonic sensors do not detect an object because it's too small, for example, the robotic mower also has a bumper on the front to stop the device. All in all, that brings us to the final verdict. I'm sure that everyone who's watched the video up until this point has noticed that the new lawnmower from Memotion, the Luba AWD5000, is without a doubt a device of superlatives. However, the results delivered by the lawnmower in practice were also of superlative quality. Highly accurate positioning, multi-zone management, a systematic mowing pattern, and more are features that make the device highly attractive because they work without problems. Of course, this lawnmower is intended for highly demanding properties. Memotion also offers two additional devices for 3,000 and 1,000 square meters, respectively, which are designed for medium and smaller gardens. The devices are nearly identical in construction, meaning that we can expect the same great results as with the model shown in this video. Okay, that's all from me. At this point, I'm very interested in hearing your thoughts on this amazing lawnmower. Please feel free to share your opinions in the comments below. By the way, if you enjoyed the video, I would appreciate your support by giving it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already to ensure that you don't miss any future videos. The latest prices of the lawnmower to support this channel can be found in the video description below. Thank you for your support and take care. I hope I'll see you next time. Goodbye.